Well, as promised, we're delighted to welcome into the living room today a Bishop Richard Henning, who is the ninth Bishop of Providence. Good to see you, Bishop. Thank you, Bishop. Good to be yeah, with you. Yeah, thank you so much. And, and, and you're here specifically because this is a Child Abuse Prevention Month. We'd like to talk about that, but I, I, I'd also like to congratulate you and offer you my sympathy. You, you're losing a great priest who's going to be the Bishop of uh, Portland, Maine, come yeah. May 7th, uh, yeah. Father Ruggiero, Bishop-elect. As he's so uh, mostly known, Father James, uh, you know, has been a remarkable presence in Providence, uh, particularly in the city of Providence, but in a number of parishes, just a great, holy, prayerful, compassionate man, beloved of his people. We just had a, a gathering to send him off. 1,500 people showed up. I it saw, was extraordinary. I saw it was in the yeah. cathedral. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we filled it uh, overflowing. And I want people to know that on May 7th, you can watch that ordination live right here on Catholic TV from mm. the cathedral in, uh, in Portland, Maine. Uh, but April, as I say, is Child uh, Abuse Prevention Month. And um, of course, over the course of this time that you've been Bishop of Providence, and, and in fact, over the course of your priesthood, this has been an important issue, one of many important issues to you, but one that, that rises to the top, especially this month. Can right. you tell us about your commitment to mm -hmm. uh, uh, preventing child abuse? So, you know, I, was, I had the privilege of having a happy childhood, great parents, wonderful family. My experience of life in the church, which was only a few blocks from the family home, um, was that it was a place of safety, refuge, of, of formation, of compassion, love. So um, I felt um, very safe there. And I was so, like so many people, so grief-stricken, horrified by the revelations that occurred during the scandals that, that I wanted to do something. And so I tried very hard to incorporate insights um, from experts on child prevention into my parish ministry. And then when those, that training became more formalized. I asked if I could serve as a facilitator. So I worked for years uh, with, you know, parish priests, volunteers, staff, and also my work in the seminary to try to convince people that, that, that there's not just a, a call to a shared responsibility for protecting children, but that when we do that, when the, when the body of the church kind of unites in that mission, it's very effective. It makes a big difference. Um, and it makes for environments where, you know, children are safe. It's, uh, it's, not it's not possible to prevent evil in the world, but it is possible for adults of responsibility and goodwill to create kind of safe environments where children are, are loved and protected. I'm sure you've heard this comment or something like it because I know I have. You know, why do we have to keep talking about this? You know, mm -hmm. haven't we settled that? Isn't that in the past? And right. I think the answer to that is, is a hard no, right? We have to keep uh, keep after this issue. Yeah, I think that's the value of April being designated in this way, um, because this kind of work it, it has to be constant. You know, you can't. And, and remember the nature of parish or school life: new principal, new pastor, other volunteers coming in, new student body. So there's always this need to uh, be reminded, to renew, to rededicate. Um, there are realities of change in our environment that we have to adapt to. Um, you know, many parishes now will rent space to other entities. You have to think about how you do that. How do you protect the children in your own program who might be sharing now uh, a plant with, uh, with other entities? Even if it's good work, you just want to think that through, right? Um, there's the fact that more and more we're aware in the culture that sometimes, tragically, young people can do harm to other young people, which is not something I think people thought about 30 years ago. So that's a whole new dimension of looking at your facilities, controlling them, how you help children uh, be prepared, but also how you train your volunteers and staff. So, so I think it's just good to be reminded this is, uh, this is an every hour, every day, every month, every year mm -hmm. thing, and we need those moments when we can be renewed in it. And specifically in the Diocese of Providence, what uh, steps are you taking? What initiatives uh, are mm -hmm. planned to, to continue mm -hmm. to protect children in every circumstance? So, so my goal this year, um, because it's my first year, and generally good rule is, you know, even in parish life, you don't walk in and change things. It's an you know? important rule. Right. <laughs> so a lot of what I've done is learned what we do. So that's been good. I've been reassured um, by what is happening. Um, but I really wanted to take advantage of this month to kind of communicate to the people of God how personally important this is to me, as well as how much I think this is important for the diocese. So I've been uh, using my column in the Road on Catholic 
Um, we've been putting out new materials, sort of shorthand materials to be distributed to our parishes and schools, reminding people of our Circle of Grace program, which is for young people themselves, the background checks, the training efforts we do. I've spoken uh, with our pastors about this multiple times, my mm -hmm. concerns, how much I want them to be attentive, how much I want them to take another look, you know, to be thinking it through. So a lot of what I've been doing, I would say right now, is not so much new initiative, it's more understanding what we do and then seeing if I can kind of intensify that. And then we look going forward whether we need to add anything or alter anything. But I'd like to use this month every year to remind ourselves, renew ourselves. And you have a, a number, obviously, of Catholic schools in the Diocese of Providence. Yes. And of course, every parish has a faith formation program. What do you say to parents who are concerned about the safety of their kids? Well, I think, you know, again, life has many risks. I can't tell, I mean, it's terrifying for parents to let their kids go out the door. I know that. Um, and But I, I, I want them to know that we are committed uh, in every way possible to create and maintain an environment that is safe for their child. And in that, it's not just simply a matter of they hand them off to us. We want our, all of our institutions to partner with parents. Mm -hmm. So I want parents to understand these realities too. I want them to know what we do, how we do it, why we do it. I want them themselves to have the training. I want to hear from them if there's anything they see that they think needs improvement or attention. Um, so I think, you know, if you look at the statistics, these efforts have worked. Our environments are, in fact, safe. We do have now a community of responsible, faith-filled adults who are committed to the protection of the children who are entrusted to us. I know Cardinal Sean O'Malley, in his role for the Universal Church in protecting mm -hmm. young people, has been an inspiration to you as he has to me. Is that not the case? Right. So um, uh, we all go to Baby Bishop School. I, I'm not sure what the official name is. But <laughs> I think that is the official name now. <laughs> so uh, in Baby Bishop School, you, there's about a week of various seminars and different topics. By far the best the year I attended was the one given by Cardinal O'Malley on child protection. Um, and and I, I'm very aware of his leadership, again, not only in New England, but really around the world, as you said. So I'm grateful for that. It's, it is an inspiration, yeah. And we are grateful to you for taking the time to come in and talk about this very important issue in the life of the church ongoing. Thank you. Uh, it's great to, be to with see you. you as always. Thank and you. Hope to see you with the ordination. In, I will. In Thanks, yeah. Yeah. And God bless Catholic TV. Thank you very Thanks. much. Okay.